Assalamu alaikum everyone and hi Madam Jasmine here So in this video we will learn chapter 4 Air Conditioning System Ok let's start So in this topic we have 4 subtopic So the first topic is system and operating principle Second type of air conditioning and application Chill water and cooling tower operation And next is advantages and disadvantages type So in the end of this chapter Students should be able to understand the system and operating principle of an air conditioning system And also can be distinguished the types of aircon and its application so next we move to advantages of an air conditioning system so why we need aircon so first is to improve working efficiency reduce illness and absenteeism so absenteeism is a habitual pattern of absence from a duty or obligation so macam tak nak hadir lah kan Kenapa nak improve working efficiency ni Reduce illness ni Sebab apa? Sebab bila ada aircon Kita pun selesa nak buat kerja Kan macam you all lah Bila ada aircon kat kelas You all boleh datang selesa nak belajar Dapat ilmu dengan cepat Cuba kalau kelas tak ada aircon Kan You all rasa macam malas nak datang Sebab sebab tak selesa Next Can increase sales Productivity and comfortness Contoh, kalau kilang tu tak ada aircon, pekerja-pekerja jadi tak selesa nak produce produk kan. Jadi, akan decreasekan sales. Betul tak? Okay, kalau contoh yang lain, kalau you all pergi mall ataupun pergi kedai, kedai runcit, ada beza tak yang ada aircon dengan yang tak ada aircon? Ada kan? Bila yang tak ada aircon ni, you rasa panas You, macam, you rasa macam nak cepat-cepat je beli Kan uh, Next, less cleaning works Maksudnya, kenapa Kena cleaning ni Sebab Aircon dia ada filter So, bila ada filter, dia akan Sedutkan habuk-habuk tu Dia dah filter dah udara-udara yang kotor tu Okay, so Less cleaning works And uh, next is Material and furniture Last longer So ada material dengan Perabot Yang mm, Memerlukan environment Suhu yang rendah Supaya dia tahan lama Tak mereput ya, Ada material yang kalau kita tak ada aircon Yang kena uh, yang udaranya panas Semua dia akan cepat Cepat rosak okay. Next suitable environment For plants Grow process, electronic and lab areas Okay So, selalunya lab dengan elektronik lab Ataupun tempat yang ada elektronik banyak Memerlukan suhu yang rendah Sebab dia terlalu sensitif dengan temperature change Kan? Ha, macam contohnya ATM machine ha, You perasan kan kalau ATM machine ni kalau boleh ha, dia, dia mesti isolated dan dalam kawasan yang beraircon Sebab apa? Sebab dia ada elektronik Supaya nak tahan lama lah You punya mesin tu Ataupun lab areas Kadang-kadang lab kadang-kadang lab areas ni Memerlukan uh, Tiada gangguan suhu Maksudnya kena suhu yang 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 Uniform, yang sejuk Next Reduce internal and external pollution Dust, noise and smoke okay. And Apa contohnya Dust, noise and smoke ni Err uh, apa uh, Sama juga kan hmm, Yang atas tu Cleaning work so Less risk of fire or damage Due to static electricity Caused by dry air okay, So kadang-kadang ni Bila udara terlalu kering okay, Dia boleh sparkkan fire Next, we move to factors of choosing types of system. Okay, bila you nak install aircon, okay, 
you kena consider faktor-faktor berikut ya okey size okey kat mana you nak install so what size you nak install dekat mana okey you nak install dekat bilik ke you nak install dekat dewan ke okey so takkan you nak install a uh, one house power aircon dekat dewan so tak sesuai okey so you should consider size okey and then usage you nak letak dekat mana you nak letak dekat uh, rumah ke you nak letak dekat kilang contoh okey and next is arrangement of rooms building okey so bila you dah jadi uh, engineer nanti okey you nak kena install uh, aircon you nak kena design aircon you uh, susunan aircon so you kena tengok arrangement of rooms and eh, building tersebut okey next uh, the next factor is building materials okay whether it's heat retain or not and then water or air for releasing heat from condenser okay so kena, kena tengok juga noise level of system use okay sometimes ada tempat yang dia tak nak noise ha, yang tak sesuai ada noise so aircon ni uh, seperti you all tahu dia ada bunyi bising kan ha, macam dekat bilik kuliah tu sometimes you dengar dia punya ada ada noise tu okey sometimes ada tempat-tempat mungkin dia tak nak noise tu noise level tu ha uh, you kena uh, consider juga okay, noise level next it's reliability installation cost and maintenance and then the flexibility of user friendly okay. next we go to types of air conditioning system okay, so this is the the flow chart so first type is fast air conditioning system and the second type is hydronic air conditioning system so what's in fast air conditioning system so we have air conditioner and unit system or we call it package unit so dalam package unit we have two split unit or window unit okay next is uh, hydronic air conditioning system so chiller and central plant system are classified as hydronic air conditioning system okay. so central plant system okay, seperti yang dalam uh, bangunan kuliah ni ialah central plant system so ada air cool and water cool okay, you nampak kan ada piping kat atas tu air cool and water cool yang biru tu tu contoh next we move to type of air conditioning system which is single unit okay. so single unit tadi kita dah tengok we have two window unit and split unit okay. yang selalu you all nampak ialah split unit betul tak okay. ada blower and condenser unit outside the room okay. that's why we call it split unit ok where window unit only one uh, one unit so we install at the window okay make a hole and then we install inside the window next centralized unit okay so centralized unit usually we install for large building Okay, for example, our academic building. Okay, so the main component is cooling tower and chiller. Okay. Water side arrangement. In the central air conditioning system, heat from each floor is transferred from the room air at 25 degrees Celsius to the chill water at 12 degrees Celsius by an ahu. Okay. The refrigeration machine which transfers heat from the chill water at 12 degrees Celsius to condensed water at 35 degrees Celsius is called water chiller and a cooling tower is used to reject heat from the condenser water at 35 degrees Celsius 
to the outside end at 30 degree Celsius. So as we can see here, okay, this is the procedure of of centralized unit. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the ahu, which is air handling unit, and then this is the cooling tower, and here is the water chiller. Okay. So as we can see, cooling tower is used to reject heat from the condenser water at 35 degree to the outside air. Okay. Next, we move to operation of basic air conditioning system. R12 gas in compressor with low pressure gas is compressed to the high pressure gas state of 909.2 kilopascal and high temperature of 37.8 degrees Celsius. Okay, so compress compressor here. Next. Then release heat in the condenser. Okay, move to condenser. Change the high pressure gas become high pressure liquid at two four six point two kilopascal at negative six point seven degrees Celsius. Entering the expansion valve, the pressure of the liquid is reduced to low pressure liquid. Go to the evaporator, absorb heat from room, become low pressure gas, and this gas will decompress. Next, important components in air conditioning unit. Okay, as we can see before, is compressor condenser, expansion valve and evaporator okay. so what is refrigerant? refrigerant as I mentioned before R12 is a compound used in a heat cycle that undergoes a phase change from a gas to a liquid and back okay you all dah belajar ni masa uh, you akan belajar ni masa aircon betul tak okay the two um, i mean subject aircon the two main uses of refrigerant are refrigerators or freezers and air conditioners so dalam you punya fridge pun ada refrigerant dalam freezer pun ada refrigerant sama juga dalam aircon Okay, the most widely used refrigerant were the halomethanes, or we call it R12 and R22, with R12 being more common in automotive air conditioning and small refrigerator, and R22 being used for residential and light commercial air conditioning, refrigerators and freezers. So, you all pernah nampak kan yang ni kan? Ha. So, bila yang dah habis tu, yang bila gas dah habis tu, dia ramai yang jual buat tabung. Betul tak? So, yang mana tu tanya, -tanya asal man datang mana uh, tong tu? Yalah, daripada refrigerant. Okay. Next, we move to compressor. Okay. A, com a gas compressor is a mechanical device that increase the pressure of a gas by reducing its volume. Okay, kat mana compressor ni tadi? Hmm? Yang first-first ni kan? Compressor kan? Apa, apa function compressor? Yelah, daripada low pressure kepada high pressure. Okay, the change. Low pressure kepada high pressure by compressing the gas. Okay. Compressor, compressor are similar to pumps 
both increase the pressure on a fluid and both can transport the fluid through a pipe. Uh, as gases are compressible, the compressor also reduces the volume of a gas. Liquid are relatively incompressible. Okay? So the main action of a pump is to pressurize and transport liquid. So ada beza, compressor and pump. Okay, next component in aircon is condenser. So what is condenser? Condenser is a device or unit used to condense a substance from its gases to its liquid state, typically by cooling it. In so doing, the latent heat is given up by the substance and will transfer to the condenser coolant. So this condenser are used to transfer heat from the hot compressed refrigerant gas to a cooling medium, usually air cool or water, water cool and the refrigerant condensed. We move to expansion valve. Okay, any other expansion valve. So in the expansion valve, high pressure liquid is converted to low pressure liquid. Okay, and this will control the rate at which the refrigerant enters the evaporation and is an amount equal to that being evaporated due to the heat absorbed from the substance being cooled. Evaporator to absorb heat from the inside and remove it by using refrigerant. Due to this, low pressure refrigerant become low pressure gas. So, daripada liquid kepada gas. Almost similar to condenser, except the tubing will have smaller tube instead of fins such as need condenser. Chiller unit. Unit where chill water is cooled by the evaporator. The chill water is circulated inside the cooling coil in the ahu, being warm and to the chiller. Inside the chiller, the low pressure liquid refrigerant inside the evaporator absorb heat and flow to the condenser. The condenser is either air cool or water cool. This system usually installed for central plant system. As you can see here, so this is what happened in the condenser. Okay. Next, we move to hashtag chiller. So H is heating, V is ventilation. AC is a con. Okay, so hashtag chillers we have two types which are first is vapor compression chillers and the second type is vapor absorption chillers. Okay, so dalam vapor compression chillers ada four types lights. Reciprocating, centrifugal, screw and scroll. Okay, so vapor for vapor absorption chillers are direct fit, indirect fit, simple single effect, single stage, okay, and more. Okay, in S back chiller, we have water cool, condensed. So, air cool condenser and evaporative condenser. So, as we learned before, chiller unit is a machine that removes heat from liquid via a vapor compression or absorption refrigeration cycle. Okay. So di picture tunjuk uh, chiller and cooling tower untuk bangunan bertingkat. Okay. So yang ni ialah ahu setiap tingkat. So yang ni ialah piping. 
chain water supply and chain water return so this ahu yang dekat sini tu fighting so ni gambar sebenar ok air handling unit of ahu the ahu is box light equipment with a fan and a cooling coil inside ok some Units also contain air filters. Fan and motor assembly comprising shaft, bearings, pulley, belting is usually put inside the ahu. Okay, to suck air from the rooms, let it pass through chill water cooling coils and then discharging the cool air back to the room. Okay, macam mana tu? Kita tengok balik. Proses tu di... sini ok so di sini proses tu ok a certain amount of fresh air may be introduced at the suction duct so that air in the rooms may be gradually replaced ok so kalau tengok gambar tadi dia ada daripada uh, udara daripada luar pun masuk juga The flow of the heat in central air conditioning system Heat is transferred from the air in the rooms To chill water at the air handling unit Okay, or ahu The chill water is pumped through the chiller And the heat is transferred to the refrigerant Okay the refri Then the refrigerant is cooled By cooling water circulating in the condenser of the chiller Tadi you ada nampak kan yang ada CWS tu Okay Dia sentiasa circulating in the condenser And next the heated cooling water is passed through cooling towers Where the heat is dissipated to the atmosphere by fan So tadi dekat cooling water Okay, dekat cooling water So, udara panas tu Didisipated ke luar Okay If humidity of the air Has to be controlled Steam coils or other heating coils May be installed Moisture in the air Is condensed out When it comes into contact with the chill water coils At the bottom of the ahu A pipe is installed So that water that is collected can be drained out okay. Removal panels are installed So that personnel can enter into the ahu for maintenance Maintenance is mostly changing or washing of air filters Greasing of bearings, changing of belts, and general inspection and cleaning work. Okay, so here are the pictures of fan, tangential type of the air handling unit, and also the whole of the floor of the fresh air. Okay, next picture is about a pipe connecting the compressor to cooling tower. Okay, CWP at the pipe bring means cooling water. Okay, so if you notice that dekat uh, bangunan kita ada pipe ni. Okay, a pipe connecting the compressor to a uh, room. CHW at the pipe means chill water. Next, we move to cooling tower. Okay. So cooling tower used in central air conditioning system To cool the warm water from the chiller condenser Heat from the rooms in a building is transferred to chill water okay. Then transferred into the refrigerant at chiller And finally to the cooling water The cooling tower is cooling, to cooling tower Okay, here is cooling tower. The cooling tower is at the final point of the heat transfer. 
Okay, and then the heat is transferred to the atmosphere. Okay, so here is the example of cooling tower. Okay, pernah nampak tak? Pernah perasan tak? Pernah tengok? Okay, selalunya dia berada di luar bangunan. Selalunya sel selalunya dia berada di atas tanah. But sometimes dia ada di di uh, level yang paling atas dalam satu bangunan tu. Okay. So heat in the cooling water is removed by letting moving air contact with it. Water is normally spread out and allowed to drop down by gravity from a height. Plastic fillings are arranged so that to increase the weighted surface of the water while it is dropping, while at the same time provide better contact between the air passage and the water. In the last topic is the advantages and disadvantages between window unit and split unit. Okay, so for window unit, the advantages is cheaper and no need to install pipe, but you have to prepare or hack the wall. Kan, sebab ada satu unit. So, you kena uh, pecahkan dinding untuk letakkan unit aircon tu. And also, it is noisy. For split unit, it is more quiet and silent and no need to hack the wall. However, you need to install piping from inside to outside components. Okay, and also it it, it more expensive. The end. That's all for chapter four. Okay, don't hesitate to ask me if you have any question. Thank you for watching. Good luck, guys. Assalamualaikum.